When I came to the land trust 15 years ago, it almost felt like you were in a third world country. I mean, literally, there were houses boarded up in substandard conditions and blocks of them at a time. Back then, we had a state of emergency in this community, and so you had to get involved. The land trust model stands for something much bigger than houses. It's about empowering the community through education. We were meeting together, all the neighbors, everyone in this neighborhood who was struggling. We were thirsty for that power, and we used it. When DCLTs first started in this community, we did, in fact, have a mission of stabilizing the neighborhood, mostly through helping the people who were already here become homeowners. To date, we've developed over 200 units of property, both rental and home ownership. What Durham Community Land Trust brings to the table is the fact that we are permanently affordable. Um, no one else has that commitment. Whether the housing is owner-occupied or renter-occupied, a community land trust retains ownership of the underlying land. By owning the land, the CLT not only preserves affordability, it can also promote home maintenance and prevent foreclosures. If you drive around this community today, you're gonna to find a lot of really nice looking houses, a lot of stability, just a completely different place than 20 years ago. We're really, really proud of what we've done in this neighborhood. For the next 20 years, we know that we will be working in a neighborhood just on the south side of downtown Durham called Southside. This neighborhood reminds me of what the West End looked like 15, 20 years ago. It's a massive um, undertaking by not just us as developers, but by the city of Durham. It's going to be really exciting, I think, to see this neighborhood transform.